Hey everybody, Jamel here. Thanks for checking out the channel. Today I'm going to be attempting the Army PT test, the old version. So I guess there's a new combat version, but this is going to be the one that's been used for, I don't know, 20, 30, 40, 50 plus years. So right now I'm going to get a little warm up in. I have my cameraman Michael with me, so I'll do a couple laps just to get a little warmed up. It's going to be two minutes of push-ups, two minutes of sit-ups, and a two mile timed run. And what I'll do is I'll put all the times I have on a little Excel sheet that I have, and I'll show you the score at the end of the video. So here I am doing the warm up, and I didn't warm up well enough. So what happened was, I think it was during this portion, I had this little, I had this cramp. I had this like really tight feeling on my right, my right thigh, like my right inner thigh, and uh, it hurt. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be, it was gonna be a rough run. Um, I just knew it. That's the only thing I was really concerned about. Uh, I was I was semi confident in, in the push ups because I've been doing a lot of them. Abs, not so much. But uh, right now I'm just kind of getting a little loose, loosened up. It was freezing, so I don't know if you could see me poking out um, through my shirt. But it was cold. The sun was out, so it, it looks warm. But it's. It's like 40 or 50 degrees, man. It was, it was chilly. And uh, you know, here I am, still getting, still getting a little loosey-goosey. But uh, feeling good, pretty excited. Uh, never done anything to this extent. So this is like my first fitness type challenge. Um, see here, I'm, I'm doing some walking lunges. And we do everything right next to that, that soccer stand. So right now I'm kind of, I'm heading right down that way to, to get started. Warm-up is done, now time to start. So two minutes of push-ups, a max of a 10 minute break before I can do the sit-ups, then a max of a 10 minute break before I do the two mile time run. So let's get into it. Um, I have to stay at a plank, you know, I have to stay in a plank, right? So I go down, come up, or an upward dog or downward dog, but my knees cannot touch the ground or else I'm disqualified. And whatever I get up until that point, I'm done. So I'm gonna try to go the full two minutes no breaking. It may look a little ugly, but my knees will not touch the ground until that two minutes is over. Push-up time. So I had to speed this up. Uh, I think I did a four times zoom on it. But uh, I was going through. I think I initially what did I do. I think I did 15 or 20 without breaking, and I did five. So I broke it out in, um, in five rep increments. And I knew my knees can't touch the floor, so that was pretty tough. So keep in mind guys that when I do when I do my push-ups, so today's Monday, uh, my chest and tricep days are Monday, Thursday, right? So three days apart. And I do like 15 max for my for my first, because I'm going for for a long rep, you know, long rep range, and I know I'm gonna be doing it for 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes. So it was tough. So when I did that, I think when I did that 20, I was like, holy shit, I don't want to burn myself out. But I was able to keep pushing it, and uh, I, I, I felt like I had a little bit more gas in the tank. But I did, so when I filmed this on Friday, I had my chest day on Thursday, so that didn't really help. But I was, at a, I was able to knock out. Now we're doing some sit-ups. I never do sit-ups. The last time I did sit-ups, I remember it pretty well. I was doing the uh, Goggins quarantine workout, probably like February. I did a crap ton of sit-ups. I have no butt, right? That's the issue. But I have no cushion on my spinal bone, like the bottom part. So I had the worst cherry bomb for like three days. It was sore, it was, it was hurting, it was bleeding. I'm 100% sure. So I haven't touched sit-ups since then. This wasn't so bad because we were on turf, but uh, it was still pretty tough. 
like my butt felt it. And you know, going for as many as you can within a two minute time frame, like it's, it's tough. So I think I did a four time zoom on this video too. So I was going like at a snail's pace compared to what you're seeing right now. How do you feel? How do you feel? Oh. Oh. <laughs> I feel great. Okay. All right. Oh. Little break. A little stop before eight. Eight. Beautiful laps. Whew. This is tough. Doing good. I never never typically do sit-ups just because I have no butt so I always get like a cherry bomb on my butt but uh, on the turf it's not as bad all right now this two mile run that's scary I never go for time I'm I'm typically like endurance style to where I'm going 30 60 minutes plus I'm never sprinting the only time I'm ever actually sprinting in a run is if there's a car come in or if I see an animal or if I'm just kind of spooked but other than that I keep like a zone 2 heart rate so like something something aerobic but nothing's where I'm overexerting myself for me to hit the times that I want and to be able to pass this army PT test I really need to push it so I'm nervous in time so, how long would it take me to do eight laps, going for two miles, timed run? My fastest, my, my fastest PR that I, that I logged from my Nike Running Club app, I think it was like a 7, 715, 720, I think. Actually, no, I don't know if it was like a 730. It was going to my, uh, my cousin-in-law's house in Seattle, and it's a slight incline, but the second portion of the run is straight decline, so I was able to, to push through that. But this is my first time doing anything time. So right now you can tell the video, it's a four time zoom. I'm coming up on my first lap. It was rough. The first three of eight was rough. My inner thigh, my right thigh was acting up. I did not do a proper warm up. And plus I needed to pee really, really bad. So if you guys watch my other vlog, or my other video, I talk about how much water I drink. And I drank at least 50 ounces before this, and I peed once. So that didn't help either. I kind of felt stuffed. But uh, it was all right. I was doing the inner track. There were not too many people out in the field that you, that you can see. Um, it was sunny, a little wind, so I was able to, to bust through it. I lost track of my my, my laps, um, Michael Michael helped me out, but I lost track I think after five or six because I, I was just so like, so zoned in to just get it done. Running, running formation looks pretty good. My arms aren't swinging too much. I feel like my strides could probably be a little better. Oops, sorry. My strides could probably be a lot better. I haven't stretched that nearly as much as I, I should have, or you know, this past couple of weeks. Uh, yeah. yeah, feeling pretty good. No one was in my way. <clears throat> there was this one, this one older woman. She was on the second lane, and I wanted to stay kind of a good, good distance away. Hashtag COVID. So I, when I, when I walked past her, I went a little bit on the turf. Uh, but then I went right back and then I, I think I swerved off the lane too a little bit just to kind of catch up to that. Here I am, yeah. Busting through it. It was challenging for sure.
could push it. I was push it, push it. And I knew I had a little bit more to get. So right now, I slowed down the video. I went from 4x to real time. You know, just to see how I did. And uh, Mike, my cameraman, he is excellent. He's filming with the Sony A7, I think, that's what he's using it. So we, we just tested it out. He said, hey, do you want to do you want to shoot? Because he had the camera and he had some free time before work. So yeah, of course I'd love to shoot, and I've always wanted to do a, a challenge, so I figured why not do the Army UTC challenge. So, he's on the opposite side right now of the, uh, of the track, so he's kind of where we set up all of our stuff, and you'll probably see me uh, coming here pretty soon. It's a lot slower because it's real time, but I remember every single step of that last. And look, oh, he's taking a, so 13, 1322, and I'm about halfway done. Well, halfway for this lap, anyways. So I'm really busting it. At this point, my legs are feeling really, really good. They're warmed up. Surprisingly, it, it takes me about two to three miles to warm up. So when I do my seven mile runs, that's my medium run. When I do my seven mile runs, for miles two to three, I'm warm, I'm in my zone, and I can bust it out. Mile one is always tough. Oh, Bro, 1406. <laughs> Man, pushed it that last one. There you go. As soon as I get home, I'll tabulate where I'm at. I'll probably put it in the thumbnail whether or not I passed or not. But, uh, <laughs> We'll see. As always, thanks for watching. Oh, now we get to some failed pull-ups. So I just took this little tidbit of the video. I saw, <laughs> you see me fall. My legs are so beat, but I was able to hop on the bar. I think I knocked out like six or seven. So that is the video. Thanks for watching. And for my stats, so I have it broken down right here in my hand. I just learned how to do this little edit. So for push-ups, I did 55 reps. My score was a my score was a 77. Uh, Sit-ups at 49 reps, my score was a 63, and runtime 1406, so 703 per mile and 91. Uh, my totals were 231, average is 77, average is 60 per event, minimum score of 180 to pass, so I passed, uh, but I could do a little better. I think I'm going to redo this challenge uh, probably in a couple weeks' time to a month. I want to try to get the uh, the PT badge. So that's a 90 percentile in every single event. I only did that for the running. Super low on the sit-ups. I mean, 63. But push-ups were kind of decent. I felt like I could have pushed out more. But uh, again, thanks for watching. I passed the PT test. You should give it a try. Let me know your thoughts. And as always, thanks for watching. If you found value from the video, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks and catch you next time.